Hey guys, this is Blair with the Taylor team, and today we've got Christina with the Real Estate Photography in the NWA. Have you got that right? Yeah. Um, right. Today we're gonna kind of go over some questions in relation to real estate and photography and kind of do's and don'ts. So first of all, um, why is it important to choose uh, a real estate agent that uses a professional photographer? Well, so Blair uses um, professional photography for all of his listings. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so it's important to do that because you really want the best first impression that you can get. Right. And it's super easy to hire a realtor that will go in and, you know, they can take cell phone pictures and that's just fine, right. you know, but it's not going to give you the best first impression that you can get. So right. Blair does all the work on the front end to make right. sure that your house has the best pictures, if it needs a virtual tour, right. um, anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, so he's putting in the work in the beginning to show you, you know, how um, he's going to sell your house the best way that he can. Um, so that kind of leaves a lot of um, guesswork later on out of it. Um, so he's not having to change up his strategy, you know, or anything like that. He can sell it from the get go um, because he's doing all that work on the front end. Right. Of course, this is, a, kind of, this is what we're talking about entirely, mm -hmm. Dave, but I know you've been using the Matterport a lot. Like, right. Can you tell them just a little bit about like, what you like yeah. about that Matterport? And so, yeah, so um, the Matterport tour, you basically just get a 360 view of your whole house, floor to ceiling. Um, you can look around, you can walk through it. Um, it's really good because here in Northwest Arkansas, we do have a lot of people that are not local that are buying. Mm -hmm. So they get the opportunity to see the floor plan and uh, see how the house is laid out a little bit better too. And then, you know, so a lot of people actually do buy houses off of a Matterport tour um, because they can't, you know, come in for a showing. You get all the real people. Right. So you get a lot of people from out of town that um, use those. So it's really nice. Usually it's cool because you run through the whole thing yeah. with your mouse. Which yeah. It's like interesting. Like you I said, you can like look up, plan. you can see like the ceiling fans and you can, you know, look down and see the flooring and all of that too. So it's really cool. Um, one other thing too is like, it doesn't it show like full 3D floor plan? Yeah, you like see all that. Thing? So you can see it from the outside too. So especially if there's like multiple floors, it's really um, nice to see which um, rooms are on which floors, which yes. you can't always see with pictures. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, so what can a professional photographer add to help your home so well? Well, um, you know, we do this every day. Um, right. So we know like really good angles and different things like with staging and stuff like that, mm -hmm. that is going to make your house look a little bit better. Right. So um, somebody who doesn't do that every day can come in, like I said, and take pictures, but we want to make sure your house looks the best that it possibly can. Right. So that's something that we look for when we're in there. We're not just in there taking, you know, random pictures. Right. Um, so that's something that, um, and we know, you know, things, little things to tell you. Um, like I always tell people like as many lights as you can get on, blinds right. open, um, mm -hmm. fans off, you know, um, anything that's not going to be a distraction because you really want to be able to see you right. know, how nice your house looks in pictures. One other thing that I know you mentioned to me is to make sure people, I know you can move things around if they need it right. and we can make sure that like, we, you know, shoot our best angles on that, but mm -hmm. we really want to have, you know, everything prepared ahead of time right. so that way you're not spending two hours and seven right. hours shooting. Yeah. And it, it does. Yeah. It helps out a lot when you already have, um, your house ready, right. ready to go. Um, and that's just something when we come in, um, we're not spending our time trying to um, move things around and, 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 and sometimes, right. And sometimes right. we don't, um, we don't move something that you may have wanted moved. Right. Um, and that's just because like we assume when we get there that it, you're ready for us, right. you know, so if you already have that ahead of time, then right. it's just really helpful for everybody. And you can photo it, but you can't photo right. it 50 things. Right, yeah, exactly. Right. Right. Um, which kind of leads us to our next question. So what does a homeowner need to know, like when scheduling a photography appointment? Yeah. Um, so like that's just like we were just talking about, you know, having the house prepared. Um, right. A lot of people, you know, decluttering is a big thing. Okay. Um, a lot of people like to remove personal items. Um, people get really nervous um, right. with pictures. You know, that's just like your photos are going to be on the Internet of the place right. you live. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's a relatively easy process where they are maybe 30, 45 minutes. Um, it's not a huge deal or anything right. like that. Um, if it's not perfect, like you said, we do um, Photoshop, you know, so we can edit. Um, so 
but mostly, you know, just be prepared when we get there. Um, and so we can focus on the pictures and not necessarily moving a bunch of things around and stuff like that. Because we just want your pictures to turn out the best they can. Sometimes if I go on an appointment and there's just a lot of stuff out of order, then yeah. we also get a stager right. to do that ahead of time mm -hmm. so that it's easier on you. All right. Well, hopefully we've answered all your questions around photography and selling the real estate, you know, in conjunction with photography. So uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can uh, give us a call or shoot us an email from below. And I hope you guys have a great day.